Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. This is Kerbal Space Program. A moment of silence for Jebediah and Valentina. That intro is going to get a bit long with the rate I'm killing Kerbals. I went to the tracking station. And so there's the um, pod in the hangar. So that's the thing we need to go and have a look at. But here are the other anomalies. So they're actually not that far away. So I am going to go and take Verdi's anomaly. As a contract. Mission control. Verdi's anomaly. Be above 18,000 and take a look at it. Take a crew report when that high. Alright. So the first thing we're going to go and do is check our contracts. So, climb to the top of the control tower on the other thing of there. Look for the burnt out pod and the old hangar. So first things first, we're going to fly that way and see how far we get. So, to the runway. Explorer 1, our pilot. Launch. So this, like everything else, is going to go very badly because one very important thing I've just noticed. Recover vessel. Yes, I know you did get any ribbons, but what we're going to do is we're going to put this and we are going to put utility. There we go. So that should mean that when we get close enough to where we want to go, I'm just going to blow the parachutes and that's how we're going to land. Because as has been previously mentioned, landing is hard and safe. Alright, so, first things first, just get to the old control tower. Save. Crew is Dondin. Crew is Dondin. Alright, good luck Dondin. You're gonna need it. No, I don't expect we'll get a lot of science on this way, but we'll find out. All right, full thrust. We'll worry about that later. Launch. Oh, SAS on. God awful runway. Let's um, let's pitch up as soon as we possibly can, London. We've got a reasonable amount of control. And we're up. Alright, let's struggle the fuck thing. <laughs> oh, no, that's some. Um... Pull up. Pull up. Well, at least it is. Explorer 1, I'm pleased to report, is a responsive aircraft. Don't know what our altitude ceiling is. We'll worry about that later. Alright, we've got 13 minutes worth of fuel according to our calculations. So let's us head over. There. Let's um Wow, this thing really uh you think you get the complete moving tail planes. It's not that entirely unsurprising. We're still accelerating, we're down at one third thrust. Burning fuel very slowly, such as the power of these things. I am not going to try and go for speed performance on this thing. I am just not anticipating it goes very fast. But you know what? Let's find out. Let's bring it up to 200. I don't know if we have fuel capacity or bladder retention. So we're still 
accelerating even the, the two third thrust. One third thrust, right, that is decelerating. Activate navigation. It's a shame because the other thing we're trying to get to. Alright, so they're both over there. So Verde is anomaly, six minutes away. So we do have the range. Actually, do turn that back on. And let's bring over here. And let's throttle a lot down. Make sure we're still climbing. Right, we're coming in perpendicular to the runway, so let's see if we can do that. Now. Yes, I know, I'm lining up more perpendicular. something approaching what might be considered an actual landing. Hopefully one that donned in will walk away from it. We really don't have necessary cash to buy yet another pilot. Close enough, and then we will just pop the parachute to do a parachute landing. I am far too high. All right. Now, I think engineers, when they level up a bit, have the option to what's this? Discover the abandoned airfield. Thank you. Engineers, I believe, have the option to repack parachutes. Which we'll worry about in a bit. Alright, so this plane is coming down at the expected slightly odd angle. Let's um turn the SAS off. See if we can't flatten it out a little bit. On the hope that it might be one of the wings that hits it first. I'm really hoping that you know, a water landing would be a bit tricky. So obviously I need to rebalance these parachutes because we're coming down far too high or hard on the nose. But we are down. We have a brakes group. Parachutes are cut. I would like some thrust, if you please. I don't want to take off. That's a bit of a steep slope. What's on those? We would, I think, hit that first. Oh, there goes an engine. There goes the other engine. Looks like we're walking the rest of the way, Don. Uh, 
There's something else to tell off there. Alright, let's put the brakes on. Oh, there goes the wing. Alright, so. We can get a crew report. Which we'll do. We can open that up. Observe the mystery goo. We can get a pressure reading. Which we'll do. And we can get a temperature reading. Which we will do. Alright. Dundee. Don't forget the guys that gave us to get us where we are. Yes. Let go. Alright, so I put the wing... Alright, so the hatch is unfortunately <laughs> under one of the wings. Great view, maybe we should start launching from here. Investigate the island airfield. Contract complete! Okay, so apparently this was close enough. I've not done either of those things. Can you run? Maybe I can time walk. We'll recover the rest of the debris later. So apparently... There we go. Alright, so we can at least see some of it. And we apparently can climb all the way up there. I have no real interest in doing that since we've completed the contract and got some cash back. I broke most of the plane because um, I didn't land at the right place. But we'll recover Dondin and then we'll send a boat out. Can Kerbals, do Kerbals know about boats being underground people? I don't know. Ready for next assignment. So Dondin earned EVA and a G Force ribbon for the deceleration. So you can see over here Explorer 1 debris. Don't fly it, recover it. Nice. So that probably got uh, there's still more debris there. Recover that. A bit more cash. Recover more of the debris. More of the debris. More of the debris. Fifteen parts. That'll be the science. There we go. Right. Okay then. Gathered, 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 gathered. Twenty-seven bits more science. A load of funds back because we recovered most of the plane. It's always a good start. All right, so with that in mind, I think there's a half decent chance that we might be able to fly out to one of those survey points. So that's what we'll be doing in a sec. And boom back. The Observer W will note that that's not Dondin, that's Bob. That's really because it's dark. Um, and I don't necessarily want to spend a lot of time flying around in the dark trying to visual observe it. There's no much point. So what we're gonna do, is we are going to take our plane, which is full of scientific instruments, and we are going to spend a little bit of time having a little bit of an investigate of the Kerbal Science Center, or the Space Center itself. Because I've heard rumors that there are, is plenty of science to be had. That is far too fast. That will cut thrust completely. I have heard rumors that there is something interesting to be had over here. Full cool break. There we go. Nice. Um, something I did in between is I had noticed that this had actually been inside of here. So let's open that up. We will get Observer Mystery Goo. Get a little bit more science. We will do a crew report. A little bit more science. We will take a pressure reading from here to get a little bit more science. And we will take a temperature reading here to get a little bit more science. And then that looks like it's restored reasonably away. EVA report. Bob. Oh yes, I forgot. I blocked the hatch. Um, give me the AV report. Grand. Can you get back in? Crew report. Can you get back in? Yes, you can, though it's a little bit uncomfortable. Alright. Let's put a little bit of the speed on. And turn the brakes off. And we'll wander over this way. 
I don't know if Bob's actually going to be able to get underneath the space with the uh, aircraft to actually find anything. We've got another set of experiments we can do. That's the admin building. This should be the astronaut training complex. Don't quite know how close we need to get to that. Alright, let's head over to what I think is R&D. Yes, it is. There we go. We come to a halt, if you wouldn't mind. And then we will grab the goo, temperature, pressure reading, keep, keep, and keep. Alright, with that then done, we will have Bob EVA. <laughs> Take data, store data, crew report, no. Give me an EVA report, store experiments. With that in mind, I should be able to collect the data and then restore. Then walk over here, collect that data, and then restore. So we should be able to take data. Reach in if you wouldn't mind, please. Take the data. Take data. Take data. Store the experiments. And then fall off the plane. <laughs> yep, sorry about that, Bob. Grab and board. Okay, so we should be ready again. And now we should be able to do another crew report, which we will keep. Alright. Uh, looks like we're going that way. Brakes off. There's a bit of speed to get us going. This is the KSC at night. You can see it's not particularly built up yet. Mostly because there really isn't very much to it. What we'll do is we'll wander over to the tracking station. No thrust. Brakes. Then we'll do the same again. Observe the mystery goo. Log keep. Log temperature. Keep. Pressure. Keep. Uh, no, cancel that. Bob. EVA. <laughs> uh, ow. And <laughs> so we need to get that seat fixed. <laughs> do an EA report. The plane is rocking backwards and forwards. Uh, store experiment, take data, store, grab, board. So we've got various things going along. Grab another crew port. Yep, I know there's not a lot much to be said over here. Um, full thrust, brakes off. Minimum thrust. Head out. A couple taps of thrust, we'll head over to the tracking station. Whereby we will get our crew report and the rest of it. We'll gather ourselves a little bit more science and learn a little bit more about the KSC. Uh, no thrust brakes. So we want mystery goo, log temperature, keep, keep. Lock pressure. Keep. Bob. Experiencing a couple of minutes of getting out. Keep. Uh, take data. Store data. Fall off the plane again. Get back underneath the hatch. Grab myself a And then I think we were good. Recover the vessel. Congratulations, Dondin. <sighs> Two successful missions. So we got ourselves 46 science, just going around and having a look. We recovered all of the parts, other than a small amount of fuel. And he earned himself a 50 science ribbon. Nice. Right, so with that, I'm going to close, and I'll see you again later on. I have been the Mamasat. This has been Kerbal Space Program. Bye for now.